Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Big box again. Brian, you're spoiling us. Ooh, there is a note. Hello Tam and Tim, how are you going? Good, I hope. Here's some more treats for you to try. Hope you like the calendar, Tam. Enjoy Uncle Brian. Oh, oh a pussycat calendar. You'll oh love that. Oh my gosh, there's a diary as well. So I can keep my innermost thoughts in there. Here's something you don't know about <laughs> Tam. She goes for a walk every single day around the block to find cats to pat. She calls them up. She's a kitten whisperer. And she comes home with the biggest grin on her face because she's found a new cat that's come up to her. But she got a psycho white one the other day. Do you want to tell yeah. us about that, Tam? I've named him. His name is Psychopathic Snowball. He came up like, meow, meow, meow. Yeah, I want a pat. And then his face changed. Like it morphed into this evil thing. And it scratched me. It hissed and scratched. Why is it funny? Because you went back to pay it again after that. <laughs> Look at all the gorgeous cats home. I love it. Oh! Wow, look at the patterns on that one. Oh, January, you got a good cat. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at March. Sorry. I just want to see what June is because that's the important one. Ah! Oh. A big ginger tomcat. Oh, and a ginger one. No, I don't mind a ginger cat. I mean... What about July? Or... You want to know? All right. Oh, oh, I get two for the price of one. Why do you get two? I'm special. Lots of savoury snacks. Very cool. Well, we've got some double ups, so we'll sort that out because he's generously sent us two. One for you and one two. for you. He sent me two packets of these and this is exciting because they're cheap balls, honey. Yeah, you like cheap oh. balls. I want to try this one first up. It's an interesting... Oh, what's that? Raise a smile. I didn't know what that was on the front there. I was concerned. It's a chip. Looks like a poop. <laughs> A poop with a band-aid. Yum. Walker's Sensational Smoked Pigs in Blankets. Wow. It's a limited edition flavour. Pig in a blanket. So what, a pig must be that thing and the blanket must be what's around it. What is a pig in a blanket? It must I be thought. a sausage wrapped in bacon. Well, why is it called a pig in a blanket? Because okay, it's pork sausage, a pig, and the blanket's the bacon. Oh, that was in the 70s, wasn't it? Pigs in the blanket. They had devils on horseback and stuff like I'm that. I remembering yesterday. Never okay. mind. Back 70s. 50 years ago. Have a look. Oh yeah. Ooh, they smell all right. Yeah. Nice mm. size, thinly cut crisp. Whoa. Very piggy. Very smoky. Mm. What's your opinion on this, Tam? I like the saltiness of it, and I like that little bit of smokiness, but I'm just wondering if the smokiness is almost too much. I'm getting the pig taste. Well, that's because it's pig wrapped in pig mm. with a smiley face band-aid thing. Do you like the flavour of this one, though? You like bacon things, don't you? Yeah. Is it a flavour you'd eat again? Yes. Hmm. Nice and crispy. Walkers do make lovely crisps. I don't mind that. Suitable for vegetarians. That is weird. So, obviously, it doesn't have actual pig product in it it just must be flavoring and for those times when vegetarians are obviously craving pig why would a vegetarian be shopping for something that tastes like bacon i have a sister who says she's a vegetarian hi terry if you're watching and every time we go and see her she eats meat so i don't know what sort of a vegetarian she is what did someone else call it flexitarian let us know in the comments below if you know any flexitarians raise a smile walker's ultimate roast potato limited edition flavor again suitable for vegetarians look at that Mmm, very nice. And you can see there's little speckled herbs in there. Wow. What's that flavour I'm getting? Flavour enhancer, isn't it? I like it. I like the herbiness of it. Mm. It tastes a little bit like rosemary and thyme potatoes. And that does taste like a baked potato. That's what it is. It's a baked potato. <laughs> Roast potato flavour. <laughs> Nicely done, Walkers. I like those very much. On to something that I just can't resist anymore. Asda cheese balls. And this is crisp, crunchy and extra cheesy balls. Can I ask why they're Asda? Well, they're not. <laughs> God bless you, Ted. <laughs> why did I say Asda? Oh, oh, because I read it off these. Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. Grab that. This is from Morrison's Cheese Balls. They're crisp and crunchy, extra cheese. It doesn't matter. Extra baked, not fried. This bag is really full. Cool. It's a new recipe, too. Uh -huh. I want these to be disgustingly orange, are they? Yes. And they look really cheesy. Oh. There's a little puff of happiness. Oh, yo, yo. What would they make these out of? Corn. Corn.
Mmm, they are very crunchy. They taste very baked cheesy and I'm a fan. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, they're okay. I, I'm not a fan of this sort of thing. I love it. They smell baked cheesy. Yeah. That's what they smell like. Yeah. And it's suitable for vegetarians, so it's mm. obviously got no cheese in it. Oh, it's baked cheese. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Oh, you're in heaven. My claws are weird and yellow, and that's making me happy. Are mm. you going to wipe that? You wipe um, it on my shirt. No, no, I can't do that. It's wrong. I wipe it on my leg. I'll just um, just wipe it on my shirt. No, I'm that's take wrong. it off now. Are you going to take it yeah. off? <laughs> oh, that's so uh, wrong. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> that's all right. This no, is what you did right. for love. Oh. <laughs> We've got a theme going here. Morrison's Asda, pigs in a blanket. Stop it. <laughs> no. This one is Asda, pigs in a blanket. It's a flavoured peanut. So that looks interesting, bacon flavoured peanuts. Ah. Looks like it's got a little crispy casing on the outside of the peanut. And it's got stars on the front, like a Christmas theme. <laughs> that was a good shot. Ooh, they smell really nice. Yum. Oh! They smell lovely and salty and bacony. Good. Oh, it's good. I like those mm. very much. Well Yum. done, that stuff. I'm going to have to have two now. Mm. I was only going to have one, but now I'm going to have two. They have this crispy coating on the outside. It's a bacony flavour. And then a peanut in the inside. But I love, love the crunch and love the smokiness and the saltiness. And the peanut is crisp too. Mm. Very nice. What are you taking them? I'm going to see them in the box because if they fall over, they're going to go everywhere. <laughs> How's my shirt going, Tim? Very salty. We have another Asda peanuts here, and this is turkey stuffing flavour. And this one is a mixture of nuts. It's not just peanuts. You've got almonds and cashews and stuff in here. That's how you open it. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay. Right, yeah, they look like they're all dehydrated, don't they? No. Turkey stuffing. How's it? How? I'll taste peanut. Oh yeah, I'm getting a little bit of stuffing flavour. But okay. why is it turkey stuffing? Could be chicken stuffing. They make it sound Christmassy. I mean, this is just um, like the flavours of the stuffing that you stick inside the turkey. I can taste thyme. They're lightly salted. They're not heavily mm. salted. Oh, look at this one. See, that looks like it's very flavoursome. The almond. Thank you. Try that one because it looks extra flavoured. <laughs> you can taste it on the almond more. Mm. They're more each though. Oh yeah, I mean I keep eating them. Mm. We've basically tried to eat half a bag and said, do, do you taste the turkey stuffing flavour? I do get it now, mm. especially off the almond. It's a nice mixture of nuts in here. Slightly tastes of stuffing. If someone didn't tell you it was stuffing flavour, you wouldn't know. This description is perfectly crunchy and brimming it with classic Christmas flavours. Silver bells. Nuts that smell. <laughs> <laughs> no hiding what these ones are. You can see them already. They're sweet peanuts. So it's obviously a toffee candy. I'll give you a closer look at them. Oops, that's, yours. That oh, that's yours. That's yours. <laughs> nice. They've shaped them like a little peanut. I love that. Peanut in the shell though. It's got a peanut pattern on it. Mm. it smells nice. Suck on it or chomp. Suck it and see, love. Mm. They're going to be peanut flavored. Is there peanuts inside? It's going to take a while to get into it though. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the flavour. It's quite buttery. Mm. It's a buttery, crunchy toffee. I can't really taste peanut in it. Have you opened yours up yet? Mm. Show me. Ready? Yeah. Ah! I think it's rude to show it on camera. It would have been. <laughs> I like these. They're tasty. Have they got peanut in them? No. So it's just a buttery toffee. It's I a buttery. It's got a slight peanut flavour. Is it just because it's shaped like a peanut, so it's making us believe that? And they call it sweet peanuts. Mm. I mean, they're sweet peanuts because they're a shape of a peanut. They are a nice sweet toffee, and it is quite buttery. I do like these. I really don't taste peanut flavour in it. There isn't any. Wow. Ingredients are sugar, glucose, syrup, non hydronized vegetable fat. Okay, maybe stop reading now. What, what, I don't like the sound of that. Mm. No peanuts. Made to look like peanuts and mess with my melon. And you were almost going to say I can really taste the peanut, weren't you? Mm. <laughs> There's something there. Yeah, sugar. Bye, Tim. You're going? I'm getting the one you dropped. Be careful there. You almost banged your noggin. Did I sound British then? No. You say it in a British accent. Go for it. I can't speak languages. You mean accents? Yeah, that too. <laughs> 
bang your noggin, sweet peanuts. No, I won't be doing it. I don't mind these. I think they'd be nice if you're going on a road trip and just put one in your mouth as you drive along. I think it'd be quite nice. I have too many of them though. They're very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet, but very nice. Yeah, thank you to Uncle Brian. And without you, Uncle Brian, this taste test would not have been possible. So could you please give a big thank you to Uncle Brian below? Have a fantastic week, everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.